Hello friends, Daniela here from Wondersouls Creative and I'm so excited about today's video because you will be learning how to create an email signature using my free Canva template and I'll also show you how to connect it to your Gmail account. So all you need to do is just click the link below this video and just download my free Canva template that I'm gifting to every one of you. And honestly, this is going to save you so much time and it's also going to make your emails look more professional and put together. So if you want to leave a lasting first impression when sending your emails, this is just for you. Also, with this template, you will be able to create your email signature in honestly less than five minutes. It's so easy. So let's get started. Okay, so once you download uh, my free Canva template, it's going to give you a link to this page. So once you're here, this is what you're going to see. You're invited to edit a design created by Daniela Wondersource Creative. Start designing now. So we're just going to click edit design. And it's going to take, you, take us to our Canva accounts. So if you're already signed in into your account, then this is what you're going to see. If you're not signed in into your account or if you don't have a Canva account, then it's going to ask you to create one and it's completely free. You don't need Canva Pro for this. You can just use the free Canva account. So just log in, add your info, and then you'll be redirected to this page right here. So the first thing that we want to do is just change the, the title of this. Um, this is just going to be email signature Daniela. And now we're going to start adding our elements. So the first thing is going to be our image. So if you don't have any images on Canva yet, then you're just going to go to uploads and click upload an image or a video and just uh, select the image that you want. But I have my images already in some folders. This is actually a feature of Canva Pro, but don't worry if you don't have this. So I'm just going to go to my photos and then wait for them to upload. Perfect. So now you're just going to select uh, the image that you like the best. I'm going to go for this one right here. So this is what happens if you just click on the image. So we don't want that. Of course, we don't want that. So instead, we want it, we want it to be inside the circle right here. So just delete that. And what, what we're going to do is we're actually going to hold, uh, hold down the image and then just drag it. You can see how I'm dragging it. Just drag it and place it in the circle. So just like that. Uh, right now, I don't like the position of the image, so I'm just going to double click and then play with the corners right here. I'm going to make it a little bigger and then just adjust accordingly. So I like how that looks and then just click out and there you have it. Now we are going to add our information. So your name goes here. Daniela Cervantes. And then if this happens, just um, drag it by the sides like that. And then now let's go to your title. Perfect. Now uh, just add your social media handle right here. Mine is the same for all my social media platforms. So it's easier. Wonder Souls Creative. Um, if you don't have a YouTube channel or Pinterest, I mean, I would just delete them, you know, and, and that's it. And now um, let's add our website. Creative. Perfect. And again, just if this happens, just drag it to the side and make it bigger. And you can see that now this is not in the middle. So all I'm going to do is just click on the image and I could do two things. Just uh, try to place it in the middle and you can see that there's guidelines or you can just click on it, click position and then center and it's going to center the, the text or anything that you want. So as you can see, I just noticed that this is this doesn't fit my name. So all I'm going to do is again, drag it to the side and make it bigger, just like that. And now uh, to change the color, click on whatever you want to change the color of, then just go right here. And if you know your hex code, you're just going to click on the plus sign and then enter your hex code, or you can just play around with colors. If you already have your colors just like me, then just go for that. And then I'm going to make the icons black, all black. And now I'm just going to change the color of this right here at the bottom to black. 
perfect and now I'm, I'm really happy with the results it has my brand colors it, it's simple it's professional so it's as easy as that um, again I forgot to mention that I gave you two options so just go for whatever option you like the most now we're just going to download the image the signature so you could do two things you could just delete this right here or instead go to the arrow right here and uh, when you're about to download the image just click page one just click download and now we're good to go so the next step is just to connect it with our gmail account and now, now you just need to go to your gmail account and then you're going to click right here and you're going to click on settings and it's going to bring you to this page now you're going to scroll down all the way to signature so right here and all you're going to do is you're going to click insert image right here then upload and then just upload your email signature mine's right here so i'm just going to drag it and once it downloads it's going to look like this so this is huge so just click on it and then let's do medium size that's too small large that's perfect size um so i always like to add something like vest daniela and then we are going to link this image to in this case i want to link it to my website so you're going to select it, click right here where it says link. Hit OK. And that's it. Now just save your changes. So now every time that you go to compose a new email, your email signature is going to look like that. How beautiful does that look? I really hope that you enjoy this tutorial. I really hope that this template was very useful. Please let me know if you have any questions or any comments. Send me an email. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.